It's that time of year from Halloween to New Year's. There is a lot going on for families and navigating crowds, community celebrations, and changes in routine can come with added challenges for young people with varied abilities or who may have autism. Joining us this morning with some tips all of us can add to our toolkit are Alyssa Mullins and Brian Heslin from the great team at Idlebrook, a nonprofit that works with kids who have special needs or autism. As always, we love Idlebrook. Thanks for being here. Thank you Thank for having you. us. Brian, Thank you. talk big picture here. I love the first tip here, and you say to practice situations that might come up. What should a family be doing on that front? Yeah, any any time that a holiday comes or Halloween, you know, practicing a little bit beforehand, taking the route for your trick-or-treating, uh, trying on the costumes, um, showing the routine, using visuals, uh, a social story, things like that to help with that routine, to help them to understand what's coming so that they're prepared for that day. And Alyssa, there's a responsibility for folks, whether you have somebody with a varied ability in your life or not. We want to keep our extended family and friends in the loop as well. How does educating you know, our circle help on that front. Right, so I think uh, the bottom line is accommodations. Uh, providing accommodations for our students and our children with autism, so whether that be going to sensory-friendly Halloween activities or other holidays, wearing uh, noise-canceling headphones, having a little card for our nonverbal population that says trick-or-treat for our children that cannot verbally say trick-or-treat, or um, like Brian said, maintaining those routines throughout the holidays to provide a more comfortable, predictable scenario for our population. Talk about that idea of just having awareness and extending grace to other folks. Your kids will see things they might not know or understand. You might run into somebody with headphones. You might run into somebody who's having a situation somewhere. Uh, talk about grace and understanding for those of us who are kind of just out and about. Right, so I, I think that you should never assume Right, We're not assuming what somebody else's difficulties are in life and that we are extending grace to everybody that we meet. And I think a lot of times it falls on parents and families to be the advocate for their child and coming up with a polite way to advocate for your child by saying, uh, it's okay, this is an accommodation that we're using right now. Wonderful, and Brian, Edelbrook is doing such incredible work. I got this beautiful thank you note from some of your young people <laughs> which I did not need, but they are remarkable. Uh, Taya and others involved with this. You folks are expanding with a new academy in Bloomfield. What is the hope there, and what will that allow you to do? Well, the hope is always kind of our mission, which is to serve more people, to support more families, to support more individuals. Um, and by expanding, we can enter more communities. We can widen our net to serve more areas. And you're going to do an open house later on today? Yes, we are. Uh, later on today, 1.30 to 3 at 73 Rockwell Avenue is our location. We have invited school districts, uh, families. Uh, we're doing light refreshments. They can meet with our wonderful staff, learn a little bit about what we do. And, um, you know, and then we'll have our kind of official ribbon cutting. All right, well, we we're wishing you the best of luck than that. One tip that I had that I'm going to throw out there quickly that I hope you'd agree with, I've learned through booking bu our bucket list experience with Rachel is that if something doesn't have a sensory experience, ask. Absolutely. That, that people Absolutely. might be willing to do it. Yep, ask it and create, create your own experience as well. All right, love it. Good luck with the new location. <laughs> I will you. see you folks soon, I'm sure, for the holidays, and there's a lot more to get to. And thank you for my card, guys. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, much